Hey guys, Fuzzy Knob here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your disassembly view so that it looks like mine. And I'm going to explain the various settings so that you can pick and choose what you'd like for yourself. So under Options, go to General. And what we're looking at are the display disassembly line parts and some of these other options here. Now, the first one that I uh, do use is display line prefixes. What this gives you is a relative virtual address in front of each instruction. So this would come in really handy if you are flipping back between IDA and Ollie Debugger, for instance, because you could say like, oh, hey, I'm interested in this jump to see what the program actually does when I just run it because I can't figure out something. So what you could do is you could use this address to set a breakpoint in Ollie and then go there. Now, moving on. So if I switch, now you can, can display both of them, but if I switch this to stack pointer, what you're going to see here is an offset for how much the stack pointer has moved. Now comments and repeatable comments, these are, I'm pretty sure the default options here, these two are checked. Now comments, you get to by pressing semicolon. All right, back in the options, there's something called auto comments. And now what this will do is Ida will put in its own comments. And it's basically on what each instruction does. It kind of just puts in these comments that say like, oh, this is a call, this is a jump. It basically reads the mnemonics out for you in plain English. Um, this can be useful if you don't know assembly language. Otherwise, I find it makes it really, really messy looking. Now, this, uh, this last thing, number of opcode bytes, I typically set this somewhat high, something to like 12, or whatever really works, but um, what you're going to see is the actual bytes that are in memory being executed to achieve each instruction. And yeah, that's that. And the way I have mine set up is options general, I like line prefixes. I think I put opcode bytes to eight. And I like comments. And yep. That's how mine looks in most of my videos. And I just find it useful like this to kind of see not only what IDA is interpreting things to be, but what they're laid out in memory, like here with these two. Because this is the memory address, and this is the uh, bytes that are actually stored there. Alrighty, that's it for this video.